welcome to another video. Lockdown's over. Back out and about. Got a couple of days here. I drove at Stonehenge. Gonna get a wicked sunset tonight. Although it's supposed to go down to freezing. So diesel heater will be on tonight. Plenty of vans up here. They filled all the potholes in down the bottom part of the drove as well. So it's much much easier to get in here. Look at that. Look at that sky. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset. Right, I'm up here for a couple of days in the van. So just about to do a bit of al fresco cooking. Cook my dinner outside. Not bad back garden for a couple of days, is it? Right, quick and simple little meal tonight. Going to cook it on the trendy Trangia spirit burner outside. Save me gas. And it's one of these ready cooked rices. They're microwavable. But they're really good for cooking meals like this because they, they're already wet so they don't use tons of water. So, going to cook that in the pan on the spirit burner and just slice a pepper army into it to give it loads of flavour. It turns out it's a really nice meal. Waste not one more. Wait on that to speed it up. Just show you the sunset while that's cooking. Getting the most amazing sunsets up here. Keep saying that because it's true. Never tire of that. We've got the uh, burial mounds there. Lovely. We've got a simmer going on. And the rice.
bring that back to the simmer. Smells gorgeous. Just simmering off with a bit of that water. And now I'm gonna sit and eat my dinner and watch the last of that sun go down. Right, that little dribble of fuel that you saw me put in there was enough to cook my meal and boil enough water for a cup of tea and wash up. No, not bad. Let that cool down, put it away. So oh, there it is, that's what I cooked on. I think I've shown it on this channel before. It's a copy of a Trangia stove. And you can run it, you can use uh, bioethanol in it or methylated spirits. Um, I prefer methylated spirits. I've got both in here. Um, but methylated spirits gives you a longer burn time than the bioethanol. Uh, yeah, well, that £9 on eBay. And they work absolutely brilliant. Save you so much on gas. And if you, you know, the canister I've got, the gas canister, is one of the camping gas 307s. So, is it 307 or 907, I think? Um, and for a little bottle of gas, they're £40, and that's quite expensive. And they're quite hard to find as well. Um, you have to go to go outdoors and places like that. But this, a £1.90 bottle of mess, will last you, I don't know two or three weeks of cooking I should suppose in hot water it's a no-brainer I don't like to use it in the van though because it's a fire hazard if you knock it over and spill it but what I was thinking about doing is getting one of these camping gas cookers and then converting it so there's no gas but it holds two of these in situ and then you've got a nice safe double burner I think that's going to be one of my next projects I'll tell you what, as soon as that sun disappeared down below the horizon, it started to get so cold. Just had a lovely chat with a man from a van down there. Yeah, um, yeah, so cold, so it's time. Put the heating on. five minutes and there'll be loads of heat coming out of there. Be toasty and warm. Just enjoying a nice cuppa. Watching the last of the light go. Heating's on. Be nice and toasty in there tonight. I'm going to call it that for this video. And I hope you join me on the next one. Bye for now.